I don't know about you, but I've always wondered if the 4570 has what it takes to beat the 30-06 in terms of penetration. To do this, I'll be shooting at mild steel plates ranging from quarter inch all the way up to one inch. Whichever one penetrates the deepest will be crowned the winner. On the right, we've got the T-Rex killer itself, the super old 4570. And on the left, we got another old cartridge, but not quite as old as the 4570, the good old 30-06. I will literally be comparing bananas to bananas. Both of these rifles have the exact same barrel length of 18 inches, so this test will be ultra fair. As you can see, the overall length of these cartridges is pretty different. The 30-06 is way taller than the 4570. Way back in the day when the 4570 came out, they only had black powder to work with, so they had to use really heavy bullets to be effective. But whenever smokeless powders came out, they were able to run bullets at much higher velocities, meaning that a smaller diameter and lighter bullet was much more effective for long-range shots. But for today's testing, both of these cartridges are using a modern smokeless powder. And I think we're all well aware that the 30-06 is much better for longer range shots, but at 50 yards, the 4570 should actually be putting out a little bit more energy than the 30 6 So let's see if this little bit of extra energy makes the 4570 penetrate deeper than the 30 6 You already know the drill. Let's go ahead and get our testing started with a quarter inch mild steel plate. I'm assuming that both of these cartridges have ample energy to go straight through that quarter inch plate, but let's find out. Let's figure out what that one did. It threw that plate pretty good. Whew, that's a pretty clean hole right there. A little bit of a bulge, but not really. That is one of the cleanest holes that I've seen. I think we all know that the 30-06 is going to go through as well, but let's do it anyways. Let's check it out. Looks like we got a pretty clean pass through. Nothing out of the ordinary there. That's kind of what we were expecting. I don't know about you, but I think I heard that it's time for a 3 8 inch plate, so I better get one set up. I think this one right here will do nicely. <laughs> Looks like it was a direct hit, so let's see what the damage was. Whew. Surprisingly, it was stopped cold, but that is the most massive crater I've ever seen on a steel test. Oh, look at that. Looks like we caught most of the bullet right there. That is really cool. Based on previous testing, I think we already know who the winner's going to be, but let's continue on with the testing. Yep, just as expected, it went straight through. But luckily that bullet stayed in there. I guess it bonded to the steel or something because that was a lot of energy going straight through. I thought it would have knocked it out. Although the 4570 will no longer be going through with the testing, let's see if we get similar results to the last time we tested the same bullet on a half inch plate with the 30-06. <laughs> Well, it definitely didn't go through, and from what I can remember, it looks like a similar bulge to what it was before. But we're going to need to go back to the bench and do some grinding to figure out if it's truly the same depth. So let's head back to the bench, because it's time to grind. <laughs> If there's one thing that we learned from today's video, it's how hard that 4570 hits. I mean, it was like a freaking cannon going off. But even with all that energy, it still wasn't able to penetrate deeper than the 30-06. And now back to the measuring. It looks like the 30-06 did pretty good, but let's see. Looks like it went 0.447 inches into that half inch steel plate. That is pretty freaking deep. I just can't really say that I'm shocked by that performance though. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching and remember, don't let ballistics drive you bananas.